determine the molarity of each of the following solutions. So remember that molarity is a capital M. And capital M, molarity, equals moles of solute per liter of solution. So in this case, we have 1.457 moles of solute. Our solute is KCl divided by 1.500 liters of solution. Okay, so we get 0 0.97133 moles per liter. We still have to account for significant figures. So I see that this value has four significant figures, and this value has four significant figures. So I'll keep the first four here and look towards my first insignificant figure to determine whether I round up or down. And in this case, we round down. So our final answer is... 0 0.9713 molar. So remember, you can use capital M to stand for moles per liter. And we say 0.9713 molar is the concentration of that solution. Or you can leave it as moles per liter. Both of these units are equivalent. So let's do the next one. 20.54 grams of aluminum nitrate in 1,575 milliliters of solution. So remember, molarity equals moles per liter. I don't have moles. In this one, I have grams. So um, I have to convert grams to moles. Grams to moles. And then put moles over liters. Right? I also have to convert milliliters to liters. Right? I have in this case I'm given grams and milliliters are my units. So this is how I this is the map I would use. Grams to moles, milliliters to liters, and then I'll divide moles by liters. So we have to calculate the uh, molar mass of aluminum nitrate. Let's do that over here. One aluminum atom. We have nitrogen and oxygen. So there are there's one aluminum, three times one, three nitrogens, three times three, nine oxygens. Let's look at the mass of these atoms. Um, aluminum weighs 26.982. Change the color here. Nitrogen weighs 14.007. And oxygen weighs 15.999. So when I multiply the number of atoms by the molar mass for each atom, And when we add them up, we get 212.996 grams per mole. OK, so if I'm starting with Thing. Jesus Christ. 20.54 grams of aluminum nitrate, and it's 212.996 
grams per one mole of aluminum nitrate. And I also have 1575 milliliters. And in one milliliter, there's 10 to the negative 3 liters, because milli equals 10 to the negative 3. So we'll make both of these conversions. 20.54 divided by 212.996 equals 0 0.9. Oops. 0 0.09643 moles. Um, and here we'll have 1.575 liters. So to finish this off, I divide moles divided by liters. So I'm going to get rid of the molar mass over here. It gives us some more room. So moles divided by liters. And I have 0 0.06127 molar. And I have four significant figures in each of my numbers from the beginning of the problem. So I'll keep four. And the seven tells me to round up. So we had 0 0.06123 molar. Consider this question. What is the mass of solute in 200 liters of 1.556 molar solution? So we have liters, we have molarity, and we're being asked, what is the mass? So let's make a map. We start with liters. If I have liters, what can I convert liters into? We haven't really used, we haven't used liters as a starting point very often before. So if I'm starting with liters, I have to think about what conversion factors I have that contain liters. Well, in this case, I'm also given molarity, capital M. And remember, M equals, capital M equals moles per liter. So if I have liters, and I also have moles per liter, then I can convert liters into moles. Now the question's asking, what is the mass? And remember, mass is generally solved in grams. So if I have the liters of a solution, and I can convert that to moles, once I have moles, I have to convert that to grams. And that's mass, right? So it's always helpful to make one of these maps before you start the question to see where you're starting from and how you're going to get there. Because if I have moles per liter, then liters and liters, liters will get canceled out, and I'll have moles. And then here, if I have moles, and I multiply by grams per mole, then moles and moles will get canceled out, and I'll be left with grams. So that's going to be our map. Let's start with liters. 200.0 liters. Draw our conversion factor. If I have liters on top, I have to put liters on the bottom, so they'll cancel. And according to my map up here, if I'm trying to ultimately get to grams, I need to go to moles first. So now I've set up my units in the right way so that they'll cancel. I have liters on the top, and I have liters on the bottom. So now what I need to do is um, plug in the molarity from the problem here. It says 1.556 capital M. So the 1.5 five, six, that goes, is always associated with moles, because remember, capital M means moles per liter. So 1.556 M means 1.556 moles over one liter. So that's how I would set these numbers up, put one down here. Okay, so next, I'm going to put another conversion factor in, and if I have moles on top, I have to put moles on the bottom. 
And according to my map, I'm trying to get to grams. So grams per mole. Well, how do I know what numbers go in there? Well, remember, grams per mole is just the molar mass. So I'm given a formula here, KBR. I can calculate the molar mass from the periodic table. K is 39.098, and BR is 79.904. So that gives me a molar mass of 119.002 grams in one mole. So now let's check out our units and make sure we've set this up right. Liters cancels liters. Moles on top, moles on bottom. So now what I have left is grams. So let's, um, just, carry, let's just calculate the math. Put this in the calculator here. Let's see what we get. 200 times 1.556 times 119.002. This equals 37033.4 grams. No, not grams per mole, just grams. Grams. So if I look at my original number, I have four sig figs here. So I can keep four sig figs here. So that three says to round down. So I get 30 or 37030 grams without a decimal point. And remember, the way to interpret that is that these first four numbers are significant because that zero is sandwiched, but this last zero is not significant because it's a trailing zero and there's no decimal point. So this would be my final answer here. Consider this question. What is the molarity of HCl if 35.23 milliliters of a solution of HCl contain 0.3366 grams of HCl? OK, so how would we interpret this one? What is the molarity? So remember, molarity, capital M, moles per liter. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's my last conversion here is, is molarity. What is the molarity? So what I'm starting with is mils and grams. So if I need to get to moles per liter, and right now I have grams and milliliters, what should I do? Well, I can go from milliliters. I can convert that to liters. That's pretty easy. And then I would have this one down here. Check. Then I need to get moles. Well, I can also convert grams into moles, right, if I have the molar mass. So that's going to be our, our map here. We go from grams to moles, and we go from milliliters to liters. And then we divide moles by liter. So here's our map. So let's start with grams, 0 0.3366 grams of HCl. So if we're trying to get from grams to moles, I need the molar mass. If I look at the periodic table, Cl is 35.45, and H is 45, and H is 1.008. So that gives me 36.458 grams in one mole for HCl. All right, now let's set up the conversion for milliliters. I don't need this anymore. 35.23 milliliters. And if I have ml on top, I have to put ml on the bottom and I'm converting to liters. So here I would look up a table of prefixes for the metric system and see that little m, milli, equals 10 to the minus 3. So 1 ml is 10 to the minus 3 liters. So now I've set up both of these conversions 
Now we have to make sure that our units are going to cancel. Grams cancels grams, and I'm left with moles. Milliliter cancels milliliter, and I'm left with liters. So let's do this math. 0.3366 divided by 36.458 equals 0 0.009235. And my units are mole. And here I have 35.23 times 1,000th equals 0 0.0. 3523 liters. All right, so now when we um, we have to divide these numbers, so let's divide moles per liter. And we get 0 0.2625 molar capital M so if we are looking at our sig figs then I have four here and four here so I can keep four the six tells me to round up so my final answer is 0 0.2621 molar What is the final concentration of the solution produced when 2.25 mils of a 0 0.09988 molar solution of sodium carbonate is allowed to evaporate until the solution volume is reduced to 45 milliliters? All right, so let's see what we have here. We have uh, this, oops. We have this number, we have this number, and we have this number. So. I have two volumes and a concentration. And the question is asking, what is the final concentration? So I'll have two volumes and two concentrations. So th that should start to ring a bell, and you should remember, oh, what, what this problem is describing is kind of like a dilution, right? I'm starting with some concentration and some volume, and then I either add water or I remove water, and I have a new concentration and a new volume. So v1 this is a volume let's call it v1 2.5.5 mils what's the concentration associated with that volume <coughs> excuse me concentration one is what we would call it and we don't know what it is because the question says what is the final concentration when oh wait nope i'm misreading it when 225.5 mils of a 0 0.09988 molar solution so 225 mils is of what? It's of this concentration solution, 0 0.9988 molar. Then I have V2 and C2. So the volume 2 is this one, 45.00 mils. And it says, what's the concentration of this solution? So here's what I have. And remember, the uh, the equation that helps us here is C1V1 equals C2V2. So I have everything except C2. So how do I rearrange this equation to solve for C2? Well, if I want to get it by itself, I have to get V2 to the other side. So remember, when we're trying to get something to the other side, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So this would remove V2 from this side. And I'd be left with um, a different equation now. Where I've rearranged these variables. C1V1 over V2 equals C2. So just to help with the left to right flow, I'm going to flip this around and put C2 on the left. C1 is 0 0.09988 molar. V1 is 225.5 mils divided by V2, and V2 is 45.00 mils. So let's look first at what happens with the units here. 
So I have um, molar and mills on top and mills on the bottom. So whenever I have the same unit on the top and the bottom, they get canceled out. So what I'm left with here is units of capital M, molar. And that's good because the question is asking, what is the final concentration? So I should have units of molar when I'm done. 0 0.09988 times 225.5 divided by 45. 0 0.50050. Molar. How many sig figs should I have? I have four here, four here, four here. So I should have four in my answer. The zero tells me to round down. So 5.5005 molar.